Uh, good morning, honorable members. Good morning, honorable chair. I think uh, we we are now ready to to start the meeting. Let let me take this opportunity to to welcome you all to this uh, uh, subcommittee meeting whose uh, purpose is to recording in progress whose purpose is to go through the list of applicants and hopefully agree uh, on that list so that uh, interviews will be arranged later for those uh, applicants whose uh, uh, Those applicants which the committee has agreed that uh, they meet the criteria to, to, be, to be candidates. That is really the purpose of today's meeting. I was also checking Maskole if my, my picture is, is clear. Yes, uh, yes, sir. It's, it's clear, Chaperson. Thank you so much. Good morning, honorable members and colleagues. Yeah, because the reason why I'm putting on this uh, the video, uh, we were advised uh, members by uh, by Parliament uh, uh, media that uh, this meeting of today is a uh, is a live on on YouTube, and it will be screened later on the Parliament uh, the TV channel. So I want everybody to, to be aware of that and then switch on the, the video when you speak. Having said that, welcome to you all, uh, honorable members. Uh, Maskole, I know you have indicated to me uh, those members who have tendered apologies. Can, can you, can you, can you put their names officially in the meeting? Those who have tendered apologies. Thank you, Chaperson. Uh, in, in, earlier on, Chaperson, I was struggling to get hold of uh, Honorable Maloman and, and Dr. Heiber, but I've seen they've actually just logged in now, Chaperson. And also, uh, Mr. Sibis was also going to log in, and he has just done that. So, all the members of the subcommittee are present, Chaperson. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Uh, honorable members, before we get to that business of uh, selecting candidates for the interview, let me give this opportunity to Julius and uh, Mr. Biela, sorry, to take us through. This, this, is, this is, by the way, the way of guiding us as the subcommittee in terms of how we must do our work today. That, that is really the, the intention. Thank you very much. Can I hand over to you, Julius? Can I say you can take the floor? Okay, uh, Honorable Chairperson, and good morning, Honorable Chair, and, uh, Honorable Members and colleagues, uh, and, and Happy New Year. Uh, Chair, before the committee, I hope you can, uh, you can be able to see the screen uh, that I've, shared, I've just shared presently. Yes, I can see it. Okay, Chair. Uh, Honorable members, we we as as normal uh, 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 that we every time when we we prepare for the shortlisting, we have to propose a draft criteria for shortlisting of candidates for the Public Service Commission uh, uh, commissioner post. 
So this is a, a, a draft uh, criteria that is, uh, the, the subcommittee has to approve if they agree with uh, if they agree with the, what is, is 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 written on the paper. It's just a proposal. Uh, the committee uh, members might it might feel that if they want to change, they can change it. But in general, Chairperson. Uh, uh, last year, November, we have advertised uh, uh, two posts for uh, PSC commissioner, and then the application closed on the uh, summer first week of December. I think it was on the first or third summer. There, as you will correct me. Uh, uh, having uh, advertised, we have received uh, 146 number of applicants who responded to the advert to serve as the commissioner uh, for the Public Service Commission. And uh, early this year, the support support staff, uh, committee support staff, who went through a rigorous process of capturing and analyzing the curriculum details of all the candidates has already forwarded uh, to the uh, members of the subcommittee. Uh, we have we have we have analyzed. Uh, it's not to say uh, uh, some might we might have neglected certain information, but that was not a deliberate, but we're looking at the, an umbrella view so that it can just give members of the subcommittee a, a, a guide, a guide in terms of what uh, what does this uh, uh, series of candidates contains. And then, uh, Chairperson, if you still remember, even uh, honorable members, uh, previously we, we, as a committee, we have requested a, a a legal uh, opinion with regard to the interpretation of the fit and the proper candidate to be appointed uh, uh, as a commissioner in the PSC, as uh, indicated in the section 10 of the constitution, so section 196, 10 of the constitution. And, 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 and the, the, the legal uh, services uh, which we previously consulted provide the legal with regard to the interpretation of section 196, 10, and, and the committee adhered to the legal opinion at section 196 of the constitution at its initial stage of advertising relations to the members of the public. Having pre previously received the legal opinion chair, uh, honorable members, the committee can still develop uh, the criteria to justify. So the, the legal opinion it was purely based on the interpretation of the fit and the proper candidate to be appointed. What does it mean? But then, uh, based on that, then based on that legal opinion, then uh, we, uh, the legal uh, opinion is that the committee can still develop its own set criteria to justify uh, the shortlisting process uh, and how a candidate team to be fit and proper uh, will be identified for shortlisting. And uh, furthermore, uh, the committee has to ensure transparent and fairness uh, throughout the entire process. Uh, and again, Chairperson, um, we are highlighting that it is uh, quite uh, it, is, it, it is quite critical and recommend that the committee conduct conduct credential verification of shortlisted candidates to ensure that all information supplied is correct and ensure that the appointment will not cause any conflict of interest. And based on that, uh, Chair, then uh, the for uh, the, the next leg. Um, the parliamentary support staff, uh, which is, should be myself, and then and then Mr. Biela as well, and Mr. Sibeko will draft a structured interview questions and come up with also a topic for candidates to present. This time around, we are we are trying to change the way we have been conducting interviews previously because now the interviews will be conducted in two, in two days. So uh, we we would propose a topic for all candidates to submit a presentation so that uh, there is some uh, uh, fairness with regard to the information that uh, will be submitted. Unlike the previous time when we will interview first candidate uh, first day and then the following day you find that those candidates that come for the second day they already know what is it that the committee will be asking. But when if they submit a presentation to the committee with regard to a general topic in, in relation to the mandate of the Public Service Commission, that will also help in identifying the best of suitable candidates for the, this position that has been advertised. Uh, Chair, let me uh, move to 
criteria as uh, a draft criteria. Uh, first, uh, we will say a candidate to be shortlisted has to be knowledgeable and skills pertaining to government system as the post require candidate to conduct oversight responsibility for the public service. And uh, secondly, uh, members have to be reminded that the Public Service Commission is a custodian of good governance. Good go you are muted, Mr. Nguebe. Can you unmute? Mr. Nguepe, you are now muted. Mr. Nguepe, can you unmute? You are muted. There are connectivity problems now. Uh, Mr. Nguepe is kicked out by the system now. Yes, Chair, that's what, I, that's what I've noticed as well. But he's going yeah. to quickly uh, try and log in again. Let, let's, let's, let's wait. Let's wait for him to log, to log in again. That's what I wanted to suggest. OK, Chair, uh, there was... Um... A cut off my line this side. Yeah, and then uh, the third one, okay, I was saying members can motivate to the subcommittee through the, the chairperson why qualification of a candidate to be sure to be relevant to the position. For, for an example, uh, uh, there are candidates that are from the engineering field. Uh, if members feel that they, they need to motivate why such a, a candidate, you'll find that a candidate maybe have got an engineering qualification, but has got has got experience with regard to the uh, to the mandate of 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 the PSC or mandate in terms of policy and all other stuff. Then the members can justify why such candidate has to be uh, shortlisted. Uh, just, just just load the document again, uh, Ms. Moore. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then the third one um, is uh, let me move this. The third one we said uh, a candidate have should have appropriate or extensive experience in executive or senior management level in either public or private sector, and and then middle management level can also be considered if a candidate possesses other qualities mentioned above. Uh, and then the next one, an understanding and a previous experience of the public service will serve as an, an added advantage. A candidate needs to demonstrate the high levels of integrity and have experience in terms of the key performance areas in line with the commission mandate. And candidate could have acquired this capability and experience in his or her previous employment. This may include uh, human resource management and leadership, handling labor relations and labor practices, uh, engagement in service delivery matters or projects, uh, understanding of public administration investigation, and promoting professional ethics, uh, and his or her, uh, her past experience demonstrate good governance. And lastly, Chair and Honorable Members, it is critically important for the portfolio committee or subcommittee members to consider gender uh, representation and person living with disabilities from a pool of applicants when should be uh, The portfolio committee should consider the previous and the current commission organogram as baseline to guide their shortlisting in order to ensure fair gender representation and representation of persons with living uh, with disabilities. Uh, Chairperson, I've just uh, given the organogram, the current organogram of the Public Service Commission on this document. I hope members have looked at it and then applied their mind as they were just uh, browsing on the list that we have sent uh, together with the CDs. 
uh, thanks, Chair. Uh, uh, that's the, the, the proposal in terms of the criteria that we are bringing before the, the subcommittee of the political committee. Thanks, Chair. Thank you, uh, Mr. Nguepe. Can I can I get a comment on on members whether the they are home and dry in terms of what is presented? Can you do that by show of hands, honourable members? I will I will I will check my I will check the list. Any takers? If you are struggling to raise your hand, you can shout and then make your input. I see the uh, Honorable Mkweba's hand is up. Honorable Mkweba. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chair, and uh, good morning, uh, Honorable Members and uh, colleagues. Uh, Chair, I think uh, the, the criteria that has been presented is in order and uh, I then uh, move for its adoption. Thank you. Any second to Honorable Mbwem? Honorable Chen. Yes, Honorable Kim. Uh, good morning, Honorable Chen, Honorable Members. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Honorable Chair, I want to second the proposal by Honorable Mukweba uh, on the criteria that it should be adopted. I thank you, Chair. Thank you, uh, Honorable Kibi. Uh, we are at that point now where members have to deal with the actual shortlisting. Can I, can I give the Honorable uh, Mkweba? Uh, let me say this before that. All the members in the committee will have an opportunity to indicate uh, they are preferred uh, 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 candidates for shortlisting. Everyone in the in the meeting today will have that opportunity. Uh, the, uh, let me say that, Honourable Mgweba. Uh, Chair, my apologies. Um, it's Honourable Shriver. Could I just ask a question, please, Chair? Just before we start. No, no, we uh, we will allow that, Honourable Shriver. Thanks, Chair. Let me also just get my video going. I think it should be on. Uh, thanks, Chair, and good morning, uh, colleagues. I hope you all had a good festive season and uh, that we can look forward to a positive and productive 2022. Chair, my question just relates to, as we um, propose individuals for shortlisting, um, will we have an opportunity to please motivate very briefly uh, each of these candidates? Because I think it's an important part of showing that we've applied our minds and in terms of the criteria that we've just discussed, uh, to show why these candidates are being put forward. And I think it's important to get a short motivation on the record. Thanks, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Schreiber. What is the take of other members on what uh, Honorable Schreiber has raised? Chair? Honorable Kweba, take the floor. No, thank you very much, Chair. Once more, uh, I know that uh, Honorable Straba is um, proposing that uh, we must motivate each and every candidate. But uh, my understanding is that, Chair, uh, definitely there is a list of all these candidates and uh, with uh, their qualifications. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that in the, in the template, there's also an, 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 an column that speaks to the, um, to the requirements. 
in terms of the advert. And I don't know why then we must motivate because um, the, 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 the document that has been um, sent to us speaks to the, 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 the requirements and the, 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 the experience and knowledge of these candidates and of which also, you know, I know that the, our, the, 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 the department or the portfolio committee staff has also, you know, extendedly also sent us all the CVs. So I don't know why then, uh, uh, Honorable uh, uh, Chair, we must then motivate because the CVs speaks to each candidate. Thank you, Honorable um, Goeba. I, I don't want us to, 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 to get us uh, bogged down to that. Uh, finally, as we make the final choice, we'll consider everything, everything. No, 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 no candidate will just pass through without us as the committee. Uh, uh, analyzing, assessing each and every candidate. By that honorable shape, I'm trying to say, let us not be rigid too much at the beginning. Let's agree okay, yeah. 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 Who, 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 who qualifies for shortlisting. I think that is the first layer. Who qualifies now for shortlisting? Having shortlisted, the, 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 the agreed number, then we can apply everything as we are interviewing them. Are you not persuaded with that, Honorable Shrey? Chair, yeah. thank you. I, I'm just, I just want to get the clarity then because we also have to apply ourselves when it comes to the shortlisting itself. In other words, the, the procedure, the interview procedure is one where we have to demonstrate that these candidates meet the criteria that we've adopted. But at the same time, when it comes to shortlisting, because remember, we will be filtering essentially the candidates now, and some candidates will not be shortlisted and others will be shortlisted. We as the committee must demonstrate the rationality we applied in shortlisting. So if it's towards the end of the meeting where we have a discussion on the merits of candidates, then that's okay. But what I'm just requesting is that we don't just say, number one, two, and three, and then we leave the discussion there because then we as the committee did not demonstrate on what basis we are shortlisting. So we, I think we have to put forward uh, for the record the basis upon which we are shortlisting each candidate. We cannot just say they are shortlisted because we decided so. We have to show the rationality that we applied also in shortlisting, not, not only in the interviews. Okay, I, I hear you, Honorable Shreve. What is the take of other members? I hear what Honorable Schreiber is saying. Chair, I've been raising my hand. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, Honorable Koman, then you will follow Honorable Maluma. Thank you very much, Chairperson, and good morning and compliments for the new season to all Honorable members. So I think what Honorable Schreiber is, is, is asking for, it's only fair. Uh, however, uh, it must not be like very rigid as you have indicated. There would be a, where a member feels very strong that the person that he or she has identified, he or she needs to make a thorough and, 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 and robust uh, 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 indication as to why. Uh, basically, based on some of the candidates that uh, might have met, uh, might have uh, lower qualifications, or so, and so on and so on. But having said that, I think it it should not be uh, cast and stone that every member that is selected must be given uh, the the background thereof in terms of why we selected that person. But equally, Chair, I agree with you to say, at the end of the selection, as the committee, will then have a, a, a bite to say, uh, how do we go forward? Thank you very much. Uh, Honorable Maloman. Honorable Maloman, it's your turn now. Thank you, Honorable Chair. 
Greetings to honorable members and our staff members. Happy, happy new year. Uh, Chair, I think you have made a final, I think the conclusion that you have taken to say at the end, whatever that we have put on that pool of candidates as, as a committee, will speak to them, to the candidates, and then at the end, but we'll come up with one list that we agreed upon. I think now we can just throw in the names and whatsoever, but what we need to agree upon first, I think we need to agree on the issue to say, how many are we going to shortlist? Because also the guidelines, the, 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 the guide, they are saying that we need to set a criteria. I think also on that one, we need to speak to say, can we maybe shortlist 15, 10, and 12, so that when we throw, we don't throw more than 30 names. Thank you, Chair. You, you are correct, uh, Honorable Maloman. Um, we have to do that. Can, can I, uh, can I? Hello, Chair. Okay, Honorable, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Mr. Sorry, not, not Honorable, just that I was unable Mi to raise Mr. Mwepe. Okay, Mr. James. Yeah, no, I just wanted to uh, request uh, members that uh, can we stick to numbers uh, for now and then at a later stage when uh, we are agreeing, then we can then talk to because the, the list, on that list, I think there are numbers uh, and it'd be easy. Uh, uh, we can just, uh, let's say maybe a member has been given a platform to raise or to identify the potential uh, uh, candidates, uh, then we can just talk to numbers and then after that, then uh, if a, a particular number has been raised several times, then that's when then the members, like we did last time, if I, if I, um, um, I, I may propose that, that uh, let's say one member uh, given a, 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 a platform to nominate nine candidates or 10 candidates, depending on the number of candidates that you would agree on to shortlist, then uh, each and every member will be given that, just to indicate the name his or her preferred numbers uh, as per the list that we have sent. So that can be easy. Then we'll just note them down without in, in, uh, name, in naming the candidates for now. You, you are saying we must agree up front as to how many we are going to add, uh, shortlist? Yeah, I think that would be better, Chairperson. And then if there's a need be to increase, then is for the members to decide. We can't decide for the members, but uh, for now, you can agree on the number for now, but if then you feel that uh, we can include two or three uh, candidates that you feel that they are also suitable uh, uh, to be, they are also a candidate that uh, looks to be suitable I mean, from the ACPs, then you can put, still put uh, uh, two or three numbers. Okay. No, I hear you, uh, Mr. Nwebe. Can, 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 can we talk to that, uh, honorable members? I'm suggesting on my side, uh, depending on what the meeting will agree. Let's 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 not have a long list of uh, shortlisted candidates. We can go ten to fifteen in between there. That that's my suggestion on my side. Can I hear what other members are saying on that? Yeah. Uh, is that Honorable Komani? Yes, Chairperson. Okay, take the floor, Honorable Komani. Thank you very much. I I I I, I see that uh, your gadget does not show you when my her hand is up. Uh, Chair, I suggest that we 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 stick to fifteen. Reason being, previously on the previous advert we had twenty, and and now we we have included that that that. Uh, Topic that where the candidates should express themselves. So I'm I'm suggesting that we keep it to the min, uh, to ma maximum of 15 candidates that should be shortlisted, given the fact that we are adding onto the interview. Thank you very much. I see Honorable KB and Honorable CBC in that order. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Chair. Chair, I think uh, what we can do here is to throw names. After throwing names, if you still remember, last time we threw names after throwing 
we looked amongst the, the names that are having are being nominated the most. And then based on, based on that, we can agree, but I I don't um, disagree with Honorable Komani in terms of the number. But first let's throw, and then from that, uh, those uh, names that we have thrown each and every person, which names have they identified, then we can look into getting to the 15. I don't know if I'm making myself clear, Honorable Chair. Yeah, you, you are clear. I can hear you properly. And uh, I don't think other members can will reject what you are saying. Can I hear Honorable CBC now? Your hands were your hand was up. Yes, uh, thank you, Honorable Chairperson, and greetings to all other members in the new year. And We don't hear you properly, uh, Honorable Smith. Honorable Smith, uh, the network problem is denying us to hear you. Maybe, Chair, you can switch off the video. Uh, maybe the bandwidth will be better. Honorable Smithy, can, can, you, can you switch off your video? Maybe the, you will be audible enough if the video is not on. Honorable BC, the platform is yours now. Switch off the video. Can you hear me now? Chair? I can hear you. I don't know as you go on if there will be a problem, but I can hear you. Okay, thanks. No, in fact, I, I wish to greet all the members in the new year. And I was going to suggest that 15 is fine. So now I'm tempted to second 15, which has been suggested by honorable members. Did you hear me? Yes, I, I heard you loud and clear, honorable CBC. You are seconding number 15. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. I, I don't I don't think there's a member who says no to that. Okay. Can 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 now can I allow now members to 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 indicate their preferences? from the list of candidates. Uh, I see Honorable Mkweba's hand is up and also Mr. Biela, maybe let me, let me start with Mr. Biela. Maybe he wants to guide us further. And then after that, uh, Honorable Mkweba will take the floor. Uh, thank you, Chair. Good day, honorable members and colleagues. Oh, I just wanted clearance, Chair. Uh, maybe it's a, it could be an issue with uh, members as well, uh, some of them. <clears throat> Concerning the, the number of, um, what is it, uh, the, the candidates that we are going to shortlist, <clears throat> I want to determine whether the 15 uh, the number of, uh, of, of candidates as 15 will come from um, each member or there is a, 
there is a minimum or a maximum that each member would suggest uh, to make that 15 in the end, or it's 15 for everyone to suggest for now. My understanding, Mr. Uh, Biela, is that uh, the number 15 is the total of those uh, uh, um, candidates that will be shortlisted for the interview, not each member submitting 15 names. That, that's my understanding. Okay, Chair, I, I understand. Uh, my suggestion, if, if it would be accepted, was that uh, let, let us cap uh, the, the names from each member, let's say maybe five from each member, then because if it's open like this, some may give more and some may give less than others. Thank you, Chair. I see Honorable, Honorable Kibi's hand is up. Chair, yes, Honorable Chair, thanks. My hand is up, uh, maybe if, if I'm allowed to throw names. Uh, you are ready to throw names. C can you hold for now? We we'll pass through this hurdle. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, okay. Chair. Uh, I see Honorable Mkweba and then Honorable Koman. Thank you very much, Chair. I thought that we, we will take that route that has been um, proposed by Honorable Kibi of uh, throwing names, then immediately streamed them to 15. So, because now I've had um, Honorable um, Biela, uh, you know, proposing that, uh, we must uh, then uh, propose um, five names, but I thought that we'll take that route that has been uh, 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 proposed by Mam Kibi, Honorable Kibi, that we then throw names, then streamlined, streamed them to 15, which means then after we have uh, uh, Atlantica uh, uh, throwed the names, definitely then we'll go that route that has also been uh, proposed by uh, Honorable Stripper of um, motivating the, the each and every candidate. And then immediately then stream them to 15 according to the common names to all the Honorable Members. Thank you very much, Chair. Honorable Makoma, uh, uh, Komani and Honorable Malomani thereafter. Thank you very much, Chair. Yeah, once more, uh, the intention for me raising the hands was to re-clarify what we have agreed, uh, which was seconded by uh, Honorable Gibi, was to say, we, we don't need to say how many members, how many people should a member uh, uh, put forward. That should be confirmed by the, the, the admin, I mean, the, 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 uh, our staff should assist us in, in terms of saying, when the members are putting in names, they should indicate as to Komani, uh, maybe uh, put in the name of Jojo James and Malomani. And then uh, Ikiwi also put in those names. And then by that category, it will finally give us to the top 15 in terms of how we have uh, uh, nominated the people, the, the, the candidates. And then the top 15 would then, in, in terms of how we agreed through uh, Honorable Gibi, the top 15 would then be the, the ones that are going for, for interviews, but not the other way around. So that means it, does, it, it, can, it cannot be that, I, I may be suggesting one name, uh, 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 maybe Honorable Malomani may be suggesting seven names, but we put all those into a basket. However, the top 15 would then be the ones that goes to interviews. Thank you very much. Honorable Malomani. Honorable Malomani, it's your turn now. Uh, 
Thank you, Honorable Chair. I think I'm covered by Honorable Komane, what he, she just said now, that can we just maybe throw the names and then at the end we'll calculate each number to, get, to check which number has get more, has been nominated more than, and then we'll get to the 15. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Uh, I see also uh, Mr. Mwepe's hand is up. Yeah, Chair, is, uh, I think uh, Honorable Komani and Honorable Maloman they, uh, touched uh, more or less on what I wanted to say. Because if you remember previously, each and every member will then uh, nominate, no matter the number. Let's say we limit it, the limit is at 15 or whatever, then at a later stage, uh, uh, the administration, uh, administration, meaning our support staff, will then look at the numbers that were uh, nominated by, uh, let's say, by, uh, uh, by let's say more than four members uh, that are common, and then put them aside and indicate that uh, number 14 has been nominated by five members, six members, and meaning that uh, number 14 uh, already, that number 14, uh, if then is needed by four members or six members, then we put that number uh, aside as being already in. And at the later stages, Honorable Mugwema was saying, then that's when then you would then come and motivate the candidate. So if we can do it in this way, because even last time it was easy when for the previous post uh, for the commission. I think uh, that will help. Thank you. Uh... Uh, uh, Mr. Nwepe. Can I allow members then to, to throw in names? Can, can I start perhaps? Or it will be unfair if the chairperson starts. Let me... No, you can, you can start, Chair. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to suggest applicant number 11. Can everybody see that? Applicant number 11, if you don't see that, I can give names of uh, this applicant. Is Zuki Swal, we can yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah. yeah, let's let's just for now stick to numbers and the names. I think uh, the names, the, the numbers. Okay. If, yeah, just the numbers. Then at the later stage, then we'll then repeat the names. Yeah, I I suggest applicant number eleven from my side, and uh, I also suggest. Applicant number 40. Let me stop there and allow other uh, members to, 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 to indicate their preferences. Honorable Kibi, the platform is yours. Hey, thanks, Honorable Chair. I also have uh, number 16 and number 61, number 73, and number 83. Okay, thanks, Honorable Malomane is your turn. After you, it will be Honorable Sibisi. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Mine, it will be number 11, number 
number 1051, number 73, number 88, number 145, 134, and 160. Thank you, Chair. Honorable CBC. Uh, thank you, Chair. I'm putting number 136, uh, number 92, number 98, number 89, number 101, number 56, and lastly, number 11. Did you catch me well, Chair? Chair? Yes, 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 okay. yes, Honorable CBC. And the, the, the Secretariat is also noting. I, okay. I had all the names that you have called out. Is that all, Honorable Members? You, you have I'm, jumped. Chair, I'm also here. I don't see your hand up. I'm, I'm, I'm looking on the, <laughs> oh, you the chair? Yeah, your hand is up now. And Honorable Mkweba, yeah. Uh, is it now Honorable Mkweba? Okay. Take the platform and then oh, Honorable Mkweba okay. thereafter. Okay, thank you, Chair. Chair, I would like to propose number 136, number 115, number 52, number 94, and number 104. Thank you. Honorable Mkweba. Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, I'm proposing then number 94, 116, 88, 114061. Thank you. Honorable Komani, I see your hand is up again. Thank you very much. It is for the same reason uh, of selection. Uh, okay. Chair, yeah, I'm selecting candidate number 44, candidate number 50. Candidate number five, six, candidate number five, uh, double one, which is 11, candidate number four, eight, and finally candidate number five, two. Thank you very much. Honorable Kibi, your hand is up. Yes, Honorable Chair, I only gave you some of my names, ne? but uh, I did not give you all the names. Now, can I give you all my names, if I'm allowed? Allowed, Honorable Kim. Uh, Honorable Chair, uh, you made mention of number 11. I have 11, I have 40, I have 61, 73, 83, 86, 88. 94, 105, 116, 111, 127, 134, and 145. Sorry, Chair. Yeah. Okay. Can Honorable Mkweba slowly just repeat the okay, name and the numbers Mkweba. that she has given before with the also with the new ones? Uh, slowly, Chair. Thank you. It's, it's Honorable mm -hmm. Kibi. Honorable Kibi, can, can you raise the numbers that you raised before? and then those that you are adding now to the number you have raised? It's number 60, uh, number 61, 127, 134, 145. There are those uh, that I did not 
it's 11, 16, 14, 61. I hope I've not confused you, uh, Mr. Julius. <clears throat> repeat repeat that, uh, that last three that you have indicated. 11, 16, 40, yeah. 61, 73. Yeah, we got them. Okay, thanks. Honorable Mkweba, it's your turn again. Oh, so can I? Okay. Um, I said um, it's nine four one one six eight eight eleven four zero six one. Eight three one zero five one two seven seven three triple one one four five and one thirty four. Thank you, Honorable Mkweba. Has the Secretariat captured all the numbers that uh, members have raised? Uh, yes, Mr. President, thank you very much. Uh, we've captured all the, the numbers that were given by Honorable Members. Uh, now uh, we would uh, perhaps request a uh, time as, as, as Secretariat to reconcile the numbers, then give it back to the members. If that's fine with you, Chairperson. You, you have read minutes. my mind. You have read my mind, uh, Maskoli. I was going to do that. Uh, I was going to indicate that uh, we must give you the, the, the time to write them down and then bring, back, bring them back to us. You have read my mind. I don't think other members will reject that. Can I hear you, honorable members? I see. Or am I too democratic? <laughs> okay. Secretariat, you are allowed to combine these numbers and then come back. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, by um, 10, 10.35, we should be back, Chairperson. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mastoli.
Uh, I'm sorry, honorable members. Uh, I went to the restroom. That's why I'm three minutes late. Can we start, Maskole? Are you ready with your with your colleagues? Ah, uh, chair, we are still finalizing. If you can just give us. Ah, uh, no, we will give you indicate time. We okay, have this chair. Day. Yeah, indicate time. Okay. We, we will not rush you because you are doing a very important part of this work that we are doing now. Thank you so much, Chair. We'll indicate when you are done. Okay.
Chair. Hello, Mr. Ole. Yes, Jefferson, uh, we are back uh, on Jefferson and honorable members. Uh, okay. We've managed to reconcile the numbers. I don't know uh, I could go ahead, Jefferson. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm giving you the platform immediately. Thanks, Jefferson, and then thanks, honorable members. Uh, we had to go out, honorable uh, members, just to reconcile these numbers uh, based on the numbers that were given by honorable members. Uh, now I will go to the list uh, of the numbers and as to how many times uh, that particular number has been voted or, or has been nominated. I can safely say, Jefferson, we've got about um, Three, uh, nine, nine numbers that were voted uh, um, three times, and we've got uh, six numbers that were voted two times, and we've got one number that was voted six times. So I'll also ask members to also just write down, write down these numbers on their side. Number 11 was voted six times. Number 40 was voted three times. Number 73 was voted three times. Number 83 was voted three times. Number 88 was voted three times. Number 94 was voted three times. Number 105 was voted three times. Number 116 was voted three times. Number 134 was voted three times. Number 145 was voted three times. Then number 61 was voted two times. Number 111 was voted two times. Number 127 was voted two times. Number 136 was voted two times. Number 56 was voted two times. And number 52 was voted two times. That number, Chair, uh, would come out to 16 uh, candidates, Chair. Uh, I will pause there for now. We, we have also those that uh, were known and non nominated once. However, we thought, let's give you the bigger number, Chairperson, as the indication was to have uh, 15 candidates. And uh, so with the numbers that I've, I've just given you, it's 16 candidates uh, where there's two, 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 Two um, uh, certain numbers were voted two times, and the others were voted three times. With uh, one was voted six times. I thank you, Chair Person. I will pause there. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Kole. Uh Honorable members, there is the report. How much we can I get? Let me say this. Can I get comments first from honorable members in terms of what has been presented before you indicate how we must handle uh, what has been presented? Honorable Komani, honorable Schreiber. Thank you. Thank you very much once more. Welcome and thank you the support staff for all the efforts that you have taken through. Uh, Chair, I suggest that we take the numbers as the, the 16 as they are, because it doesn't make a big difference. It, it, it would only make a difference with one. So I suggest that we take all the 16, put them in the bucket of the, 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 the candidates to be interviewed. I think that makes sense. Thank you very much. Honorable Schreiber, I mean, Honorable Komani, Honorable Schreiber is or 10 now. Thank you, Chair. Um, Chair, I don't think we should just uh, jump forward with this because I have some serious concerns about some of the people that have been nominated. And therefore, I think, uh, as I mentioned at the start, we have to discuss the merits here. Um, if I may, Chair, I'd like to take this opportunity to briefly go through some of those concerns with you. Uh, but I will uh, hand over to you on whether you want to have that discussion now. Um, but I have some, some serious concerns that I want to put on the record, please, Chair, if I may have that opportunity. Am I allowed? Not now, Honorable Schreiber. Let's, 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 let's first of all 
decide the way forward. Okay, but so my proposal, not, on the, we, my we proposal not, on the way forward, Chair, my proposal on the way forward is that we are now given an opportunity to flag particular uh, people who have been shortlisted here, because we have people here who have been implicated in state capture, for example, in front of the Zondo Commission, and we have to apply our mind to that fact, Chair. Uh, Honorable Schreiber, I don't want us to because other members will have views on that. And uh, the state capture inquiry is, is done. And there are indications as to how that report should be handled. Is it not proper that we allow those processes to take, uh, to take its course? Bearing in mind that in law, I'm not a lawyer, but in law, there is a golden rule of Audi Alta Rem Patem. That golden rule says it doesn't matter how an accused person may seem guilty, but that person has a right to be heard and has a right to be represented, has a right to challenge whatever is put against him or her. And if we stick to that rule, we will never go wrong. Chairperson, all I'm asking is for a brief opportunity to put on the record my concerns about some of these candidates. If you proceed, uh, by ignoring my inputs, that's fine. That can be a decision of the committee. But I want to flag with this committee uh, in, a, in a very short fashion the following issues. Candidate 40 is uh, someone who has been implicated before the state Wait, cabinet. wait, 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 Mr. Schreiber. Remember, yes, Mr. Schreiber, these people, once we have agreed that these are the people who are, that we are shortlisting, before they go for interviews, they must be sent, their names must be sent to the state security to cross check. And let us not flag people criminally as this committee before the state's security agency does that. That's, that's my Yes, yes. All I'm doing is I'm highlighting, and if you will just give me the opportunity, you will see that it goes to the other elements of the criteria, for example, experience in, uh, in public service. There are other elements of the criteria that I would just like to put on the record. So that is one element, and you are correct that that will be vetted, but I'm just putting my concerns on the table here so that the committee is informed that candidate 40 is someone who had to actually resign from the State Capture Commission because oh, there was an implication made. Wait, wait, comrade. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let us do this thing professionally. Let us do it professionally. Let us submit names, all of them, that we have agreed upon, to be vetted. The vetting is the most fairest process. Chair, if so there are people here who are, who are working for political parties, Chair. We have to no, say no, no. There, no. Are three, there are three no. candidates here. I will, I, not agree. Indicated I will not agree. At political I, will, I will not party. agree with you, Honorable Schreiber. I will I not agree think. with Honorable Schreiber. Can I hear you, Honorable Kibi and Honorable Malomane, Honorable Mbwe? I want to put my views up front. I don't agree with what Honorable Schreiber is raising. Uh, Honorable Kibi? 
Uh, Honorable Chair, I hear there's a point of order. May I proceed or are you going to allow the point of order? I, I don't know if that point of order is not assisted by the fact that I have ruled on what Honorable Schreiber is, ra is raising and I have ruled against it. Okay. Honorable Chair, thank you. Uh, Honorable Chair, per request also uh, from Honorable Schreiber in the beginning of this meeting is that we should go through each and every applicant. So my request now for the way forward, can we ask the, the, the officials to take us through the CVs of each and every uh, candidate that has been uh, identified or shortlisted here so that we know who are the people and how, uh, uh, what do we see on their CVs? Thank you, Chair. So, Honorable Maloman. Thank you, Honorable Chair. I wanted to support Honorable Gomani to say, let the 16 be vetted before they become the candidates of our interview, all of them. And then after that, that's when we can get the draft to say, how many are we going to interview? But I'm supporting the list of the 16 that we are taking all of them. Uh, on the matter of the issue to say, let us motivate or do whatsoever. I think all of us, as we're shortlisting the candidates, and we went through to the issue of, of, of their qualifications and the, according to the requirements. I think what we've done, if three people or six people have nominated number 11, it shows that all of us were in agreement with that one. Thank you. Unless maybe, uh, uh, Honorable Scriber, if and as something that he wants to tell us about the issue that I did nominate number 12, but number 12 to me, it seems as a better candidate wanted to motivate that. But in, in the issues of the state capture, no, 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 check. We're not here for that, we are here for shortlisting. These are the applicants Let's, as we follow the procedure. Thank you, Chair. Honorable BC and thereafter Honorable Command. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. Uh, I think this uh, committee will need to agree that we have done. Honorable Honorable BC, you are not loud again. Honorable BC, you are not audible. Okay. Can you hear me now? Uh, can, can, you can you shout again, again Honorable Smith? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. No. Okay. Uh, I think when they sent us the service, the papers was to go through and thoroughly check who deserves to be shortlisted. And we have thrown the numbers that we, we think we preferred to be part of, uh, of the interview. So going back again, analyzing each and everyone, like saying uh, the support staff will also need to go through the CV, having the CV initially, or do it out ourselves. Because what we have done, we we have done like coming with uh, agreeing with different numbers while we are, I, I believe we are in different places. There's no one that has low before one to uh, nominate this uh, number or another number, unless there was a looping, then that would be a big mistake. But for me, this process was fair and we're able to identify common numbers coming from different uh, areas. So for going through the CV again, it will be a waste of our precious time. I submit, Chair. Honorable Mkweba. No, thank you very much, uh, Chair. 
one must uh, support uh, your, your, your statement on the issue that has been raised by Honorable Shreshpa. And uh, secondly, Chair, we must agree as the panel that uh, we are taking the 16 names for security check. And uh, if then all the 16 has been cleared, then we must, it must be noted by this panel that those 16 names, uh, names or applicants then will be uh, taken to four interviews. But however, you know, let's um, give the, the team uh, uh, led by Mr. Mwebe to present the, 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 the numbers of uh, the 16 applicants and obvious then um, if honorable members feel that we must interrogate the CVs, we must do that, but we must not um, discuss further issues of security check, especially that uh, honorable Shulibra we spoke about uh, whatever, whatever, state capture, whatever. The only process that will help us in terms of um, scrutinizing individual candidate is the security check. So we must just look at the individual 16 CVs in terms of our requirements. And our requirements were clear that we're looking at um, candidates that are knowledgeable with skills and uh, experience in terms, of, in terms of public services. Other than that, uh, honorable chair and honorable members, it's not part of our responsibility because we are not, um, uh, 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 we can't deal with state capture issues here. Let's look at what is our requirements in terms of this uh, process. Thank you very much, Chair. But however, I support honorable members that says we must take the 16 names as it is, scrutinize them, but take them for interviews. Thank you, Honorable um, uh, um, uh Honorable Komani, and then Honorable Shrey by the after. Thank you very much, Chair. Chair, can I raise this and put it on record? We had been sent CVs of all the applicants, more than 100 of them, by email. Subsequent to that, we as members of this same subcommittee, we requested that Parliament goes through a, a, another cost to send to us hard copies, where well, then we had to make, a, a, we had to a, extensively look into those CVs. We had, subsequent to that chairperson, we had then made up our minds, selected members, candidates that we, we hope and think that sh should make it to the interviews. So uh, the, the, narration to, the narrative to say we, all, we now need to go through the CVs does not arise. What is it that we want to achieve into going into those CVs? There's nothing that we're going to achieve, Chair. We need to take the CVs and, and if that was to arise, it should have arise way before. And let us be fair to this subcommittee. It is not within our, our constraints to say uh, who is in the state capture or not. Let us take all the 16 names in terms of how we, we agreed in this, the very same subcommittee today. We agreed that the most, uh, the ones that got most uh, numbers, and we agreed to 15, but then we, we, we see that it is 16. It is going to be difficult for us to, to, to take as, as one from the 15. We agreed. It is upon agreement that we said, let's take the 16th. So Chair, it is neither here nor there for us now to say, let's go into the CVs. Equally Chair, now I'm saying, send, echoing the same sentiment of our Honorable Mugweba, let us take all the 16 names for uh, security scrutiny. If they pass through the eye of the needle, it is not our call. Let us take them for interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I hear you, Honorable Shreib? Yes, Chair, thank you. Uh, well, to answer the question, what is the purpose of, of scrutinizing these CVs and the candidates? It is to be transparent about the basis upon which we are recommending these candidates. 
As you know, Chair, as you mentioned in the beginning, this is being broadcast to the public and the public deserves to know why it is these 16 candidates that have been selected, even though some of them clearly do not fulfill the criteria that we adopted at the beginning of this meeting. And so it is in the interest of transparency for this committee to say and interrogate each of these 16 people and say, this is the reason why I or someone else recommended this person. And then we must have a discussion about whether that is a fit and proper person as the constitution demands. And so it is in that context that I brought up certain issues, uh, people being members of political parties, certain uh, testimonies, uh, certain uh, experience, people who lack experience and qualifications. Those are things that we must interrogate before we shortlist candidates, because we may be excluding people who are better qualified and actually shortlisting people who should not go through. And the people of South Africa who are watching this, who will uh, be following the work of this committee, deserve to know what it is that we considered in our minds when we said that this person should be shortlisted above someone else, especially when there are cases, as I've mentioned, where people are members of political parties, do not have the requisite qualifications. We have to justify that and be transparent, Chair. Honorable Speecy, I see your hand is up again. Uh, can you switch off your video, Honorable Speecy? It's correct in what you're saying, but the problem, Honorable Members, we can't... It's off, it's off, Honorable Chair. Okay, you because you are breaking you up, I can't hear you properly. Hey, man, that's the problem of South Africa. It means South Africa. I can, I can hear you now, uh, Honorable Speecy. I can hear you now, Honorable Speecy. Yes, I can hear you. Continue. Honorable Chair, what I'm saying. Thank you. You, you, are, you are breaking Dr. up Spiper, once again. I can't make the criteria or go to the, So I think where he feels you are supposed to put a chairperson, it means I must go. Can you, can you, can you uh, can sit I properly, comrade? Can... Yeah, so. Uh, okay, how is it now? It's, it's fine. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you, Honorable Smith. I'm saying, Dr. Doc might be correct, but the problem we have already identified the names. So it would be unfair and unprocedural now to scrutinize each and every one. We're supposed to do that prior uh, putting the names of those people. Now we have the names of the people who have identified them, so we can't now label and shame the individuals. Let us agree that what was supposed to be before the process. To say now, uh, this person has got this and this and this while he or she has been unfair. I agree with you that that is the criteria, but the damage, the damage has been now we have to Are you done, Honorable Smithy? Okay. Uh, I don't want this meeting to derail or to degenerate. Uh, I agree with those members of this subcommittee who say, Let's take all these 16 names for security check. If there is any applicant who will not pass through the eye of the needle, such an applicant will not be invited for interview. And the interview also is another mechanism to sift the best out of all those who have applied. 
we will also use that interview to check the best candidate. Uh, that's how I want to sum up this meeting because we will be unfair to pass judgment on people before they state their own side of the story. It will be unfair. I agree with all those who say, let's take this whole 16 for security check if the old 16 pass through that security check, then we will interview them and use the last leg to see who are the best out of those 16. Thank you. Chairperson, I would just like to record my objection please formally, um, and you are incorrect to say that we are not here to pass judgment. That is exactly our job. We've just passed judgment on every person who's not been shortlisted. We've also passed judgment on the 16 people who have now been uh, identified. And what I'm what? saying, is we have to justify no, no, and transparently please. explain why Mr. we chose- Honorable Schreiber, you are, you are misquoting me. I say, we must not pass criminal judgments on people as this subcommittee. But we, we must judge whether that. they are fit and we, proper. We, 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 we are not qualified to do that. It is only the state security agency who can do that. That's all I'm saying. Chairperson, judging the candidates goes far wider than that. But I understand that you are not going to uh, allow us to have this discussion which is why I will just put some of the extracts on the chat group now. And these are the things that are extremely concerning in some of these CVs that have been shortlisted. But it's fine, Chair, just note my objection. No, we will note your, uh, your objection, but you must also learn to go with the majority. And that's not what democracy is about, Chair. Democracy, democracy is about all of us having a voice, not going with the majority. Democracy is about, at the end, the majority will rule. Absolutely not, Chair. Not in a constitutional democracy. The constitution rules, and each of us have freedom of speech, and each of us as members of this committee have to we apply have our minds and be transparent. It's not about Honorable majority rule. Saying, That's not democracy. We have noted what you are raising, but unfortunately, as this subcommittee, we don't agree with your view. And please accept that because that also is the tenant of democracy. Thank you very much, honorable members. <clears throat> Having gone through all this uh, uh, process up to now, let me thank all of you for your contribution. And uh, I didn't wish you happy new year at the beginning. I, I don't know why my mind was so dis, uh, disorientated. I forgot to say, welcome back, honorable members. We are back at work. Happy New Year. I'm saying that now, at the end. Uh, the secretariat will compile that list and send it through for security check. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, honorable members. The the subcommittee the subcommittee yeah. meeting. Uh, there's a hand, sure. There's a hand, sure. Oh, there's a hand. Okay. No, Can thank I you very much, hand? chair, with your summary. But I thought that before we close, at least the the, the team led by Mr. Mwepe will then uh, be able to give us the the numbers. The One name. is to sixteen. Num yes. Or yes. the names, the honorable for recording. Yes. Okay, for record purposes. For recording. Okay. Yes. Yes, you are right. You are right, honorable Mukweba. I agree with you. Uh, can I hand over back to you, uh, Secretariat, to do that? Mr. Zivetu. Mr. Zivetu. Okay. Uh, I hand over back to you, uh, Secretariat, to do that. Mr. Zivetu. Chair? Okay. Chair? Yes, I hear you, Mastola. You can take the echo somewhere. There's an echo somewhere. 
However, I'll go through 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 the names, Jefferson. Of course, I, I, I take that also members have got the, 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 the list as well. Uh, as I mentioned, the number. We, the do, we do have the list. We Excellent. do have the list, Mastrola. These numbers are from that list. Okay, Chair. Uh, Honorable Chair. Sorry, Chair Pese. May I, Chair? Okay, let me hear you, Honorable Gibby. Yeah, Honorable Chair, I'm, I'm not sure whether we should allow uh, the officials to take us through the names uh, in this meeting now. I think uh, the applicants will be notified uh, by the office later on. If they are, if, um, if uh, the meeting allows me, if they, they, they are going to give us the names, uh, what if they are sending those names through to us uh, not now here, because uh, we are on, on, on television and everybody would know who is who in this before the actual applicants would know whether they are shortlisted or not. Uh, I stand to be corrected, Chair. Thank There's you. nothing I can correct from what you are saying. You are absolutely right. Let's, let's do like you have indicated. Yes, Jefferson. Uh, if I just quickly to say that yes, to to before the end of business business day today, Jefferson, I would uh, communicate with all the candidates, uh, uh, email them, and then call them, and then subsequently to that, we'll formulate a list uh, that will send to to the media, Jefferson, and also to honourable members, and we take it from there. Uh, that's all, Jefferson. Yeah. Maybe I mean, maybe if I can just chip in as a form of announcement, Jefferson, that also then tomorrow will be doing a, 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 a renewal of the commissioner, uh, Dr. Litul, tomorrow. I'll send the, the, the agenda later on today with the link as well, uh, and then we'll take it from the chairperson. I thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mastol. I think we were, we are aware of that. If, if, if some of us have forgotten, now that you have indicated it, we are reminded about that process. Uh, thank you very much, Mastrole. We will be ready for, for tomorrow's uh, meeting again. Is the starting time also 9.30? Yes, Jefferson. Okay. Thank you very much, honorable members. We have now come to, to the end of this uh, subcommittee meeting. The meeting stands adjourned. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you, Chair. Recording stopped.